Board exam. Ito ang last stage na kailangan mong pagdaanan bago ka maging isang ganap na professional. Sa video na to, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ka nga ba papasa sa board exam. Bibigyan kita ng 10 tips on how to pass the board exam. And if you follow these 10 tips, walang rason para hindi ka pumasa. So pay attention. I'm Engineer Charvin and this is Top Notch Your Tips PH, giving you tips and advice on how to prepare and pass the board exam. And these are my 10 tips on how to pass the board exam, part 1. Number 1 is focus. If you want to succeed in anything, you need to focus. Remove distractions like browsing social media, playing games, watching movie series, anime or k-drama, partying o inuman, gala, etc. All of these things can wait. Right now, you need to focus on what is important, which is to pass the board exam. At magagawa mo lang yun kung hindi ka distracted. Focus on a few things only. Simplify. Make your life easier. Focus. Number two is to take responsibility. Kung papasa ka man o hindi sa board exam, it's all up to you. It's not the responsibility of your parents. It's not the responsibility of your teachers. And it's not the responsibility of the review center. It's your own responsibility. Wala kang ibang sisisihin kapag hindi ka pumasa. But no one else can take the credit if you pass. Kapag pumasa ka, all the credit goes to you. Bunga yan ng pagsisikap mo. So take responsibility. Number three is to study hard. Isipin mo na lang na ito na ang ultimate final exam mo. Last exam mo na to at kompleto mo na ang course mo. Tingin mo, does it deserve extra effort from you? Of course, it deserves extra effort. Kung nag-aaral ka ng mabuti ng college, ngayon, mas pagbutihin mo pa. Kung hindi ka naman nag-aaral ng mabuti ng college, at least kahit dito man lang pagbutihin mo. Future mo ang nakasalalay dito, hindi future ng ibang tao. It's all up to you, so study hard. Number four is to study smart. It's good if you study hard, but it would be a lot better if you study smart. Hindi lahat ng study methods ay pare-parehas. One student may be able to master a certain topic in one day, while another student can master the same topic in one week. Ano ang difference? Mas matalino ba yung isa? Maybe or maybe not. Pwede ding parehas lang sila. Pero mas effective lang ang study method na ginagamit ng isa. Kaya mas mabilis siyang natututo. So don't just study hard. You should also study smart. Don't just learn. You should also learn how to learn. Mag-research ka about effective study methods. Or you could also watch my quick tips series. Kung saan nag-delease ka sa ako ng mga study techniques which I personally use to pass the board exam. Ilalagay ko yung link sa description sa baba. At dito sa screen mamaya, pagkatapos ng video. Number 5 is to utilize the internet. The internet can be your worst enemy, but it can also be your best friend kapag nagre-review ka for the board exam. It can be your worst enemy dahil napakadaming distractions sa internet. Videos, games, pictures, movies, etc. Lahat yan nasa internet. Kung meron kang internet, you have an unlimited source of entertainment and distractions. But the internet can also be your best friend. Dahil napakadami din mga gandang gamit ang internet, it offers you unlimited amount of useful information. Tulad ng educational videos, tutorials, e-books, articles, at madami pang iba na magagamit mo sa pagre-review mo. The internet is a powerful tool, so use it to your advantage. Number six is to gather your own resources. Don't limit yourself to what you are given. Gather your own review materials. Research, ask, and collect. Mag-research ka sa internet or sa mga libraries. Magtanong ka at humingi ka ng mga notes or iba pang review materials. Take things into your own hands. Gather your own resources. Number seven is to join the right peer group.
piliin mo kung sino ang mga makakasama mo sa pagre-review at yung mga magiging ka-dormmates mo. Mai-influensyahan ka nila either positively or negatively at meron itong magiging impact sa resulta ng board exam mo. In everything you do, you have a choice and that includes the people you surround yourself with. So choose the right peer group. Number 8 is to maintain discipline. Kahit napakatalino mo kung wala ka namang disiplina, hindi ka nag-aaral, wala kang kontrol sa sarili, at ginagawa mo lang lahat ng gusto mong gawin, paano ka papasa? Kahit gaano pa kaganda at kabilis ang kotse mo, kung wala naman niyang gasolina, hindi yan tatakbo. Ganon din sa utak. Kahit gaano pa kalaki yan, kung wala namang laman, hindi mo yan magagamit sa board exam. Kaya wala yan sa talino. Nasa disiplina sa sarili. So maintain self-control and discipline. Make sure to do what you have to do first before you do what you want to do. Gawin mo muna yung mga kailangan mong gawin bago mo gawin yung gusto mo. Maintain discipline. Kung gusto mong mamasyal, make sure na aral mo na lahat ng kailangan mong aralin. Number 9 is to manage your time well. Limited lang ang oras mo para mag-prepare para sa board exam. Re-reviewin mo sa loob lang ng ilang buwan lahat ng concepts at topics na naaral mo ng ilang taon. Kaya importante na alam mong i-manage ng maayos ang oras mo. Know your priorities. Choose what you spend your time on wisely. Parang sa pera lang, you only have a limited amount. Meron kang mga kailangan pagkagastusan at meron ka ding mga gustong pagkagastusan. Meron kang needs at meron kang wants. At dapat inuuna mo parati yung mga needs mo bago yung mga wants mo. Ganon din sa pagre-review. Meron kang limited amount of time. Meron ka ding mga kailangan gawin at meron kang mga gustong gawin. At kung uubusin mo ang oras mo sa mga bagay na gusto mong gawin, wala ka nang matitirang oras para sa mga bagay na kailangan mong gawin. So know your priorities. Choose what you spend your time on wisely. Because time is limited and time is precious. And finally, Tip number 10 is to know your why. Bakit mo gustong pumasa ng board exam? Ano ang rason mo? Para kanino? Ano-ano at sino-sino yung mga sources of inspiration mo? Ano ba ang gusto mong ma-achieve? Ano ang pangarap mo? What drives you and what motivates you? Know your why and always remember them. If you have a strong enough reason, you will succeed in anything. So always know your why. These are my 10 tips on how to pass the board exam, part 1. Let's have a recap. Number 1 is to focus. Number 2 is to take responsibility. Number 3 is to study hard. Number 4, study smart. Number 5, utilize the internet. Number 6 is gather your own resources. Number 7, choose the right peer group. Number 8 is to maintain discipline. Number 9 is to manage your time well. And number 10 is to know your why. These are 10 things you can do to pass the board exam. Tune in for the part of this video kung saan bibigyan po kayo ng another 10 tips on how to pass the board exam. If you learned something useful, don't forget to click like and to subscribe. At kung meron kayong questions or suggestions, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And thank you also for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers. At bilang pasasalamat, for every video na i-upload ko on my board exam tips series, mamimigay ako ng worth 100 pesos load. For this video, ang kailangan mo lang gawin ay click the like button at i-comment mo sa baba kung alin sa mga 10 tips na nabanggit ko ang sa tingin mo ay may pinakamalaking impact sa'yo. Kapag ikaw ang napiling winner, magre-reply ako sa comment mo at kukunin ko yung number mo para may send ko yung premium mo. So i-post mo muna tong video na to Click the like button at mag-comment ka na sa baba. For more board exam tips, visit my channel or check out my board exam tips series. Nasa description sa baba yung mga link sa videos ko. At ilalagay ko din dito sa screen yung playlist. Once again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.